Welcome back, everyone. Drake Hawkins again, and we're back for episode three of our uh, 2021 showcase of this amazing, amazing city builder game, Little Kingdoms Reborn. Hope you guys are enjoying things. Um, I have been absolutely loving being back here and seeing all the new improvements. Um, love the fact that our warehouses are finally in getting in place, too, which is amazing. Uh, I think we got to start, like, removing some of these. There was a suggestion that maybe... Building these wasn't exactly a great idea right now, and perhaps we should put them into warehouses. I'm not sold on it, but I'm not not sold on it. Um, we definitely need to get our influence growth going. It's slightly positive now, finally, so we're stop, we'll stop hitting the upsetness and all the rest of it that comes from it. I don't know what, what the causes are, but uh, let's uh, get things rolling along here. Uh, we do have our boost, which we got to keep on top of, because uh, that's important. It's good for bidness. Uh, mushrooms can get boost, sure. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, you know what? Let's throw a boost on the fish or two. Hey, Charman. There's, uh, we got two houses down this way. That's great. We got, uh, 400 stone right now. So, if we were to put in those warehouses, that would use up a bunch of it. There is, however, an option to possibly do storage down this way. And I'm thinking right up beside this guy might need, a kind of in this transition space. Might be a good place for a warehouse. See if we've got one in the, in the queue. Hmm, no, but, question is, you know, I'll cancel, I'll use a, uh, I'll use one as suggested, it's a good call, um, since we're so close to, uh, our fifth, we're 102 seconds from getting a new wild card, uh, otherwise we just re-roll the decks, and guess that it happens, alright, keep it going guys, keep it going, uh, down here, the forestry definitely needs to be done ASAP, and it's a matter of not enough builders at the moment, we got a lot of laborers and not enough builders. So I'm going to switch that to manual. And we'll, we'll adjust this so we have at least, like, I don't know, like maybe eight laborers and five builders. There we go. Then we'll have a better chance of getting some of this stuff done. Ah, excellent. 50 people now call your large town home. That's not what I was saying excellent about, but that is excellent. Um... If you have a blacksmith, all mines have a productivity improvement. Ooh, that is good. That's much better than just 20% productivity or less input. We're going to go with that card. It is a uh, city center card, so they're harder to use because... Sort of harder to use because you actually have to have... Uh, um, well, how do I put this? There's there's only so many slots, right? We only have four slots. We have four slots right now. Let's do that. We don't have the blacksmith, so... Um, we can do the caravan trade. Why not? Uh, not times 80, just just sell them 80, 80 surplus fish, it's fine. Okay, so not enough input there because why? the clay is not going, okay. We're still going to be a little short on the population uh, needs here. We definitely got to keep the housing going. So let's go ahead and build some more housing. We got two being built right now. We could uh, make those priority. Get that done first, fellas. Uh, is this a, this is a quarry. We don't really have the staffing to fill it. Having said that, we just don't have the staffing to fill it. I'd like to keep the food growth going. 3,000 is pretty crazy, but it's not, not too much. There isn't, there's no such thing as too much, I think. Alright, uh, do, do, do nothing here. Let's re-roll it. <clears throat> I really do like having the foresters. Um, oh, there buy that one. Did we get it? Did we get it? We did. Nice. Uh, pit Brewery. Okay. The other thing we definitely need to do today is to get more, um, more, get the luxuries going. The brewery might be a good call. We don't have the farming yet, so that's a little early. Okay. Conquer provinces. Okay. Conquering is related to other players and or NPCs. Okay. Both of our foresters are in place. We do have 700 stones, so I'm going to shift click on there, give those boys a big giant boot. Oh, forgot. These foresters I wasn't going to upgrade, but I guess now we did. Uh, this guy could definitely use with only one employee, and this guy could only do one employee. That would be wiser. They are, um, yes, thank you. They are doing um, just planting. Oh, he's not just planting. Prioritize planting. Planting fruit trees. He was supposed to be, so clearly I didn't... Uh, Get on that game. Uh, you guys need an upgrade and an upgrade there as well. Both of our two of our fruit things are now upgraded. Excellent. How's the hunter? Where is the hunter? 
Nope, not you. There you go. Our hunter's doing okay. He's not spectacular, but he's doing okay. There's the warehouse beside... This is now ready, so let's disallow all. What I'd like in there for sure is... Um, clay, wood. Let's find those components. There's the clay. We'll actually put the pottery allowed in there. We'll allow them to have wood in there. And I think we'll actually also allow fish to go in there. Because there's a fishing spot here, and there's one up there, so probably okay. Gift from Uppsala. Now, I don't know if I remove this. Do these guys still have enough warehouse proximity? I think they should now. Good. So they won't bother dropping there and then going. Somebody will just pick up the stuff that's deposited outside. Okay, so housing is now closing in on capped again. Oops. You can rotate the map, which I just accidentally did. Let's do this. Increase our housing. And some more roads to connect those, and a road to connect those. Hold on. How's the housing gonna... Oh, hi, autosave. Housing's not gonna fit there, so that's fine. I will do this. Okay. Now, in here, again, we're still leaving it for potential other things. And we can put another row here that would still get uh, access to the tavern, which will be important for them. Housing levels need to grow. We're almost at 18 houses. Once those are built, we'll hit the 18 house line. Yeah, I think this one for sure. Oh, hi. Unlock Vassalization! Not gonna dabble in that at all in this this, uh, this series, so... Alright, get that warehouse in next, please. Population capacity is growing. Got lots of kids. 19 kids, so we are naturally growing. And the immigration house, is it working? It is working full tilt. Good. We could set job priorities here. But it does a very good job. I like it does a very good job of prioritizing things properly. Uh, and then it, this gets overridden by anything that we manual in. So if I have coal set to starred, it will, even if it's down here, it'll always have people above, like you can see here, the quarry and the coal mine and, and the immigration office, all starred so they get stuff before the potters or the clay or the foresters. Right? And the foresters is an issue. We definitely need more people. <laughs> Oops, missed. Definitely need more people. We got lots and lots of foodstuffs, so that's great. Uh, but we need more. I'm gonna actually boost the the immigration thing because we just said we need more people. Uh, okay, you're making clay. You're getting it to the potter. Increase productivity there. Um, increase more staffing there and more staffing there. That's gonna need to be the case. We'll upgrade the productivity of the fisherman. Don't need another slot for him right now. We have lots and lots of stone, so I'm going to shift-click this. Twelve of our houses just got uh, in insulation added, which will help because now they'll be less into the coal use. Ah, excellent. We got all our level one houses now. Or all our level one house unlocks now. So, today, let's focus then on the level two stuff. Pottery, cannabis, furniture. Uh, sorry, not pottery. Beer, cannabis, furniture, pottery, and tulips. So, cannabis we can get from down here if we farm that way. Um, tulips, that's raw coffee. Tulips over here, we're not, it's way out of range. We're not going to be able to get to those. And we could do beer, which would be, uh, from processing in here. So, wheat into beer. So we haven't done farming yet, and we've got thousands of food. I'm thinking it's time to consider getting some farming going. So let's grab the brewery, because it's available. Uh, and a sell food card? No, we're doing okay financially. We could sell food for a ton, but the price on these foods are usually ab well above five. You know, 5.7 is pretty good. If we just do, if we want some money, we go ahead and, and do some, what is it, 300? Minus 300 on the trade there. Excellent. There's a big chunk of cash. Uh, it's like five years worth, of, or months or seasons or whatever this is worth of cash. Advertise some trade. I don't know if this is seasonal or if this is annual. I think it might be seasonal. Anyways. Alright, so we got a brewery. If we set up some sort of brewery stuff in here, that might be good. Let's look at our farm situation. Pa situation. Up a situation, is it is it right? It's a pa situation. Let's go um, start in this corner. And we're gonna do um, I don't know, like the max is 64. 
absolutely 64. Like you can go, you can't go 65, whatever the combination is right there. That won't work. You can go 64, but not sure that we need 64. We could go 48. Maybe get enough space for them to get their work done. You gotta basically balance the productivity efforts and time that they have to the amount of, I think it has to be at least four wide, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. We could do this though. Fifty? Sure. Uh, and what I'd like is a another farm. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe we need the windmill in here. Let's put the windmill in here. So let's do uh let's see what we can do for this. Is that too far? Go there. See if that's crazy. It's a little oddly positioned. Let's find a windmill. Do I have windmills? I don't think I've got windmills open up. No, they're a bakery. That's fine. Honestly, this will get us started. Houses are too far, okay? Now, uh, again, there's the value space. So we maybe put a couple houses in here. We could put, uh, like, maybe three houses. Like this, this, and there's not enough room for the brewery in here, is there? Oh, there is. Oh, hello. Hi, research. Uh, there is and there isn't. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. New era. Sustainability card, less input. I like those. They're really valuable. Uh, the show the tech tree. All right, we're on to ter era two, guys. We can now do... Um, this is, vodka distilling it requires potatoes to grow, uh, so you actually have a thousand of them in stock before you can queue this up, which is a cool new thing. Uh, but vodka distillery is a luxury, is a tier three luxury, so we can pass on that one for now. We could definitely do the workshop uh, efficiency for furniture, which would help us with the uh, lumber consumption. Uh, Iron working and blacksmith to get the tools down might be a great idea. Plantation would open up coffee and cocoa, which are nearby, but we don't really need them yet. Uh, this is for an extra card every time we roll this deck or cheaper reroll costs. I know we're going to want ironworking and um, and blacksmithing relatively soon. It's a ways off to the east to get it. I'm going to go with the sawmill and get our furniture going a little faster. We got potato seeds unlocked. We'll trade off some of this stuff to this lovely human, or we'll trade off some of this stuff. There we go. Alright, houses too far. Those two houses should do if we put another one in here. I'd like it to fit in here, but it'll crowd that guy, so... No, this is going to work, I think. There we go. A little bit of housing along there. And then if we have farms that run... Like, to the edge of here. That's probably a good call. Then we can put a, uh, um, a road in, like, this. And somewhere off that way, I think. Uh-oh. Early winter. Snow time. Snow day, guys. It's a snow day. All right. A bit of roads in there. Another farm. Now, in the, when spring hits, they should start farming here. So let's go ahead with a, let's actually take a, get a warehouse in here if we can find one. Forester Furniture Workshop, sure that sounds great, that's on, on par. Okay, these are good cards. The chimney restriction, wood and coal from heat percentage. So this will dramatically reduce, well by 15%, the consumption of uh, coal. There we go, look at that, there's a birth control card. Children being born uh, when at ho housing capacity is full. Uh, not gonna do it, but I like that uh, that there's a cool options. There's another one as well that's like kind of sort of opposite-ish. Uh, so the town needs thirty thousand to go. So let's keep trying to sell off some of the uh, uh, highly overstocked foodstuffs. We can use a sell food card if we needed to. It would get us the cash to unlock that. But this guy right here now has three openings, or four, has four openings and something we need to do with it. So the companies we don't have, 30 bucks a day is no longer a big deal. So I'm gonna take this card out. Oops, don't do that. 
put the chimney card back in and the company's card back in and then I'm gonna sell the investment card it's done good for us go ahead and sell that off uh, we can get a library unlocked and we only have six cards so let's do that and we'll put our first library in let's slow things down we're just it's getting away on us uh, okay so the library basically any tier two I think it is or above house Yes, tier two plus houses uh, effects do not stack. So this can sit here, and when so any house that it's covering, you notice how there's some blue science nodes over those. That's just indicating that we're close enough to those houses, and they're tier two. This one right here will actually cover these two guys. So I think that's what we'll do. I could go a little further, but we'd lose access to those last two, and we can put another library back in here somewhere, or up here, or down here, or whatever. That's good. Uh, I need a warehouse up this way for our food stuffs. So let's do that right away. You can go beautifully right in there. No accident that one. That actually worked nicely. All right, and you're going to uh, only provide... Um, you're going to have wheat, wheat flour, probably, or just wheat right now, maybe. Wheat and what? Wheat and potatoes. Not meat and potatoes, it's wheat and potatoes. That's okay. And maybe cabbages. So this is the produce barn right there. All right, next. Uh, we got a sustainability card. Do we have one in here In here yet? <clears throat> we do. Anything that takes in a resource and puts out a another resource is the deal. So like something like this, right? Where it actually manufactures a product from raw to finished goods. Okay. Oh, we got somebody working on the clay. So we have a tiniest little bit of clay supply now, which means we should actually have, a, there you go, a tiny bit of pottery. That's why these houses are upgrading. Excellent. Uh, wood supply seems to be doing okay. So I'm okay with putting in this furniture guy. Now, where are we going to put the furniture guy? Not the my pillow guy. That's a different person. The furniture guy. One, two, three, four, huh? And it is seven wide. Okay. I don't know that I... I don't mind this location. I want it relatively close, but we could also put him in here. I think we'll do that because we may want to use like another potter at some point there. Uh, oops. So you got you'll have wood stocks there, and this thing should also then be allowed to have furniture. There you go. Furniture and pottery in this area. I like that. These guys uh, need an upgrade there. Good. And how are our houses doing for um, stoneworks? Did I already upgrade them all? Really? Hmm. I didn't think we got them all. I thought they, for some reason in my head all those houses were not finished. Up here we know we did not. Let's, let's let them finish this beast right here. Bring our speed back up. There goes our first crops in the ground, guys. Excellent, excellent. So that'll get us some wheat. That's lovely. Now, they default to being wheat crops. We could do medicinal herbs, which would be a great idea to get going. We c Somebody died of sickness. Oh, no! Somebody died of sickness because we have no me medicinal uh, opportunities for them. No medicine or medicinal herb. We're going to go ahead and buy 300 medicine. A rush order. In fact, I'm going to use the superpower strength to speed this baby up. Uh, also going to speed up our coal, of course, and our immigration off. Oops, our immigration office, and our stone, because I always forget to bump these. There we go. All right, now, uh, as I was about to say, we need some medicinal herb. Now, these aren't terrible yields, right? They're seventy percent. Well, this is this is terrible yield right here, but that's where the granary and stuff is going to be going. But we could put in some farms over here for some uh, medicinal stuff. Um, we could go there for 60 yield, and there again, and there again, and one more in here. Look at that, they fit perfectly. So that's four fields. Okay. Not sure how all this is going to quite squish in here. Definitely important to uh, make things like actually fit nicely. That's that's important. We're gonna have a. Uh, a granary soon. One more uh, house upgrade, and we're actually look at that. We're already at almost twelve of them, right? So we got the library unlocked, and we're about to unlock the bakery and the windmill. And then farm adjacency, five percent effectiveness for nearby farms. 
I don't know if it's like they have to be touching or whatnot, but relatively good to do oh, people dying of sickness. Relatively good to do all that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say some of these immediately should be switched to medical herb, although it is mid-spring, so they'll be less probably less productive. Three of them is most likely overkill. I think. How long in the herb? Come on, herb. Come on, market. Bring the sell the saving saving resources in. In the meantime, let's get some beer going. Look at that. Dying of sickness. I oopsed. All the chatter not paying attention. Close enough attention. Look at all these sick things. I should have seen all these little pluses and been like, hey dude, they're yelling at you. They're about to die. And you're not paying attention. Nice management skills you have, sir. Um we might as well cut this. These two, three trees in here. And we may as well cut this stuff as well. We are going to eventually use that. We'll cut any trees in here and some trees in here just to help boost it. Oh my goodness. Please hurry. Please hurry. The plague is upon us. Please hurry. There you go. We got herb. We're going to go ahead and trade in a bunch more again immediately for another shipment. Oh yeah, it goes to the top because we now have some. Look how quick they're using it. Look how quick they're using it. 210. That doesn't count guys that are in the fields, but... 5,500! I wonder if we've got a sell foods card yet. Oh, we have a potato seed card. That's great. I will bring in another potter. Right away. Coal treatment. That's even better than the card that we have. Nice. Uh, and another brewery. Good. So, uh, another library and a brewery. Three of them. Hmm. Yes, please. And then we're going to go with nothing here. A free reroll. Uh, another reroll. Grab the warehouse. Good. We'll reroll again. Because I got some things to do. And that's what I was looking for. The sell food house. We have 7,900 food. So let's go ahead and sell it. And we just lost a bunch of people, unfortunately. So we'll need a little less food. Also very unfortunate. Um, housing wise we have 100 capacity and 67 people a library is here we get another library over here somewhere which would be great how about a where do we put these houses how about we put one in here just to check for spacing and then this guy doesn't quite cover the other oh that's unfortunate well we could put one up here there's room beside here you're there we could put you over to like here you put one in there, and then I can put another library in if we get one. We can actually use a wild card for that. And we can put one in over here somewhere, because there's there's not enough space to do... That works actually quite nicely. There you go. Research completed already. Blasting through it. All right, let's get the ironworks in, in the go. Um, and we can do another house in there. So now our libraries should put out a lot more science. We're at 75.2. It's not stellar, but it's something. I'm going to go ahead and sell off some stuff again. We're going to have medicinal herbs soon. We have 500 medicine for our people is plenty. There we go. Our first medical herb is growing right there. See it? How pretty. All right. Uh, we do want some uh, storage for the medical herb. So I think over here might be okay. But then maybe, maybe we need to shuffle it this way. We'll put a road just for now straight through there. Uh, do we... The music is so insanely awesome in this game. I love it. This is the... Again, this is the type of stuff that I would just listen to in the background. As, as I often end up doing. Uh, we have more breweries, so let's do that. Right there. Coal treatment card. Uh, we have the uh, chimney restrictor, which is for wood or... Uh, for coal. This only affects houses because they're the only one that use those as a quote heat as far as I understand um, So let's remove that card and add in the coal one because we are forcing them not to use wood You can set that so they have both uh, But I feel like since we've got enough coal production from our three-man coal team over here We could actually upgrade the three-man to a five-man. Your tool count is low. Yes, it is You're gonna end up having to buy tools uh, iron is available over here, so we could uh, put a road in to get to that. I'm thinking that we probably look at our caravan. Sorry, busy buddy. We're probably going to have to look at our area here and say, where's our farm going to end up? 
So if we have a farm in here, how far are we going to make it go? Like, there? I would put the road below those. That might be a good, good call, then this would be a road. Um, like this. And look at the symmetry there, huh? Beautiful. Then we're gonna have to get this place, and we can do so with no influence, because it's not done yet. Oh, I shut this guy off a long time ago. Whoopsies! Let's get that archery thing going. We are gonna need ironworks over there, but again, we gotta prioritize as we go. This warehouse isn't uh, built, but we can definitely let it happen. We've got tons and tons of stone coming in, so I'm thinking maybe that needs to be shuffled. Do we have a card over here? No, and we don't have as much coal. We're going to need more coal going forward. I'm going to take the stone, uh, the productivity off that, shuffle it over this one. We could have another card in here when we upgrade, and we're not far from upgrading. In fact, we could probably keep trading for some upgrades. So now, stone we have a lot of. We could sell off some of that stone for a really good cash infusion. 1900 bucks. It's a good chunk. All right, so the brewery, first brewery is in. Brewery, that's a little harder to say than it should be. Good use of your words, Drake. Now, if I put the brewery in there, I could put a warehouse in, and then I could put another brewery in here. Hmm. Oh, breweries, uh, the houses don't like having breweries next to them. That's unfortunate. We could do that, and we could have a warehouse up there, honestly, and then a row of shrubberies in behind later when we get those. It's not a bad idea. Um, another coal mine might be a thing, but that's a little future thought. Looks like uh, late autumn, and we have one thing still to harvest. Now, they have to harvest these before the end of the year, unfortunately. There you go, early winter, and they just lost it all. That's uh, they're, she's still, they're still on the plant quest, which is not working, ladies. Not working. So they got started late. It's a little inefficient. They're also quite a ways from their homes. So, uh, so farmhouses, or farms, always have prioritizing in my books, because uh, it'll make sure that when spring comes, they get there first. That's the first thing that people get to work on. In the winter, you notice these are still great, even though I just put them on priority. These guys still have people that are just finishing up their their cycles for the season. But the great, they're great out because there's no work in the winter for those. Same as the berries, or the fruit gatherers, are great out in the winter. There's a lot of gray. There's a whole lot of gray everywhere. Okay. Uh, furniture guy needs a, a, not a work slot. Uh, consumes 30% 30 per, 30 less wood. That's great. Uh, there's a, an efficiency card that we put somewhere. Where did we put that other one? There's one here. Where did I put the other one? On the potter? I don't know if we have an issue with the pottery as much as the wood. I'm always more concerned about the wood because it's a major building product. So I'm going to switch them over to this one. Sustainability. Now five to make 15 furniture. That's great. That is really good. Okay. Uh, we could put another potter in as well. That's part of the plans, but we do have a tiny surplus of pottery. How's our housing numbers? How's our housing numbers? They're okay. Some of them are still tier one, which is not great. So maybe we need another furniture, but we don't have a big surplus of clay at the moment. Wouldn't mind having a productivity card that we could stick in that piece. Now you guys are. Some of you have now have house or have supply of, of work workforce because of the uh, changes. Um, are we overdoing it on the pottery? We should have a lot of uh, uh, less input would be great. Productivity would be great, and again another productivity boost, all based on stone, which is fabulous. So all these guys are going to consume wheat. We should have a decent chunk. We don't need it for food because. Right now we have 4,000 fruit. Everybody's just a papaya munching machine around here. We're now at tier f uh, number 5 for our card deck again. We will need more clay going forward, but I don't think the decks is the problem there. So we'll let that uh, time over. We're getting close to the, uh, the, the... Ooh, we're entirely out of tools. We're not getting close anymore. Need to go buy tools. If we don't, they will start uh, cascading into ineffective work. 
Steel tools. Is that the only tool still? We're going to stock up on some tools. That's going to be expensive. 11,000 bucks. So much for being close. All right, do we have any uh, sell food card? That's exactly what I need. Um, nothing there. Let's go ahead and sell food. 6,000. There we go. A good chunk. Oh, we hit the 30,000 marker already with that. Let's upgrade the town hall. Good, good, good. Industrial production. Look, we got a castle. We got a castle, guys. Look at our castle. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love my castle. It's lovely. Um, also, just realized that we have a uh, definite... Uh, now would be a good time for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. These two right there. And we'll use the wild card to get ourselves a warehouse. Right in there, as per requested. I was going to put it up here, but honestly, this is fine. It's close. Okay, and we'll just slowly work our way into into that sort of stuff. I would like to see this one not have everything in it. This one can just be medicine, med medicinal herbs and stuff. Uh, unlock windmill. Yes, I will buy one, thank you, and a bakery. Sure. Um, what I needed here is medicinal herb and medicine. Pretty much exclusively in there. Uh, yeah, that works. Now, the wheat flour. We'll have to figure out how this goes. So, this guy right here gets a 10% bonus to any nearby farm. If I, the last two are medical herb farms, and they do count. It's not just wheat farms. Um, but, how far can I get away with... Oh, that one won't get me that guy, eh? If we go one over this way, then we get that guy. Mm. We lose that if we shuffle this way. I mean, it's really gonna have to be right there, I think, is the... Hi! Hi, autosave! You're really interrupting me right now. Um... Well, that's a little awkward. I don't like the whole double open spot there, but... I guess it is what it is. I'll put some sort of... I don't know what there. Prettification. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll put in a two stack of that, and this can be wheat flour. This allow just wheat flour in there. Um, so he'll only produce when we have the surplus. Now the bakery. Hmm, bakeries are going to be a little interesting. Let's plop him in there. I might actually put some housing in over here somewhere. We might need to. We could do there, with the potential of another warehouse behind. Sorry guys, I know you have uh, you had plans to live there long term, talking to the uh, pigs, but uh, we're bumping you, sorry. Alright, so let's prioritize those two, I want to get those in right away. It's early spring, which means all of the farms are now activated. Good. We'll get this up first. How much wheat did we end up with? We started with 200 and something, and we ended with, um, with 50. There's the tool supply. Excellent. We're out of wood. Dang it. We're out of wood. Uh, not good. Why are you guys not, uh, jump? Oh. Wow. You're really not chomping trees, are you? Prioritize planting non-fruit trees. They've really, like, cleared the area, haven't they? Maybe this double-down thing is a little less awesome than it used to be. Possible. What we're going to do is uh, compensate. So let's go ahead and uh, be agile on our feet, I suppose, right? And we're going to slide this guy over to here. Uh, about there. Then he'll uh, he'll start expanding the area that he gathers from. That's good. I don't know if he's going to be close enough to this now. So we got to make sure that happens right away and we check for that. Um... We're going to go with a gather here as well. I'm going to gather this whole area's worth of trees. And they can do something with that area. I'm not sure what we're going to end up doing over there. Maybe there's another housing zone goes in there. Uh, didn't we have... This is coal over here. So we could actually put another coal mine back here too. Although this is a really good spot for coal. How much coal is still in this? Still, still 14,000 coal in that area. Uh, right now we're getting mid... Oh, yeah, not enough hardwood input. Or wood input. Uh, we're getting a lot of... Oh, there we go. Look at the farms go. Good stuff. Alright, 10% upgrade productivity. It's not great, but eh. I don't want to prioritize this. Uh, this mill. But maybe we bring it to the top of the 
Non-prioritized priorities, huh? Uh, it is already, so it's right above... It's it's right below all the foodstuffs. So foresters, or windmills, foodstuffs, then windmills, then foresters. Then the brewery? Mm, okay. All the rest of this is... Uh, let's actually move the furniture... Oops, not to the top. Not to the top. That's unfortunate. I wish we could just drag and move this. That would be nicer interaction. Like the little triple line thing that lets you know that you can drag stuff in a in a menu. I want him below. I want him in with the these guys with the productivity or the the uh, tier one stuff. Archery barracks can definitely be at the bottom. That's fine. Immigration office. Honestly, you don't need to be prioritized anymore. Let's check tech tree. We're gonna go with the blacksmith now. We can now do iron mining, which is great. We will go ahead and buy that. And a smelter. Lovely. I'm gonna make sure the uh, archery is not prioritized. This is true. Good. We do need to keep coal prioritized. He's a, he's done great for us. The stone is a little overkill, I think, at this point. I wish we would have kept the three. <laughs> oh, he's on rapid mining. Okay, we could drop that a little. So, you know, less still the same workforce, but less consumption of the resources. It'll just drop down his thing and... Uh, no. Honestly, no, because all we have to do is disassemble it and move it, or <laughs> activate this one. Um, because yeah, we'll clear out this whole, we'll cut this whole thing down. It won't actually, which would be cool if it did, but not enough input. Agreed, agreed. Now the problem here is this guy and these guys are going to be competing. They're going to be directly competing. Okay. Uh, let's have a look to see where medical herbs come in. So the... Where is it? Medicine maker, medicine maker. Is it a tech? It is a tech. Okay, right, it's in t era 3. So we got a, we got two more techs, and then we can do medical ma medicine maker and market. Reached five more, and there's another uh, wild card built for us. Jeepers. Yay, well done. First tier 3 house. Excellent. Uh, so tier, it's tier 2 plus tier 3 plus. So if we get tier 3 houses to fit 32, obviously that counts towards the farm adjacency as well. So. But what's that one we're getting? 3? Now we get brickworks. Nice. Okay, bricks are not a luxury or anything. They're a building material only. And, uh, man, I love the fact that we just we just build an orchard and, and happy day. This is my favorite build, and I'm so glad that it's still in the game. So glad that it's still in the game. Uh, we could add furniture workers. Uh, they seem to be doing a lot better now. The 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 uh, forestry. Honestly, we need that forestry to keep going. Perpetually, uh, this guy needs to prioritize planting non-fruit trees. Good. He also needs an upgrade. Productivity upgrade. Productivity upgrade, and some wood to add him to the forest town, which we definitely are. We have that big group there and over here. All right, where are we doing? Oh my goodness, we're 38 minutes into the recording. All right, we're going to have to put in a cut here. I get so engrossed in this game. I love it. Uh, we're out of uh, wheat for these guys, but that's understandable. We're only just about to... something go wrong on this field, or did you already harvest it all? The field's a little small. That's what's going on there. The field is a little small. Um, that's all right. Honestly, I don't know why that's not showing. Um, growth stage, straight seedling. Oh, they just got to it. Somebody was busy doing something else. Some of that will be solved once we get a market, so hopefully that will help. All right, well, let's go forward into next episode and see what, uh, what we can do with our beautiful town here in Kingdoms Reborn. Hope you guys are enjoying things. Please do let me know. Uh, look at this. Let's bring the trees back up. It's so beautiful how we got this thick forestry here, and this is like, darn, did we ever overcut. <laughs> yep. Alright, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in game.